nice to just ask a bet. Well, I don't know. Denver. Woohoo! Denver! Yeah! Most tavern where the peanut bowl is fashioned hourly. Mo, I'd like to bet $20 on Denver. I think I can provide that service. Um, uh, Chief Wiggum, could you hand me that little black book? Oh, sure thing, Mo. I was just using it as a closer. 20 big ones on Denver. Like you're doing business with you, HS. All right, Denver. Justify my love. At the end of 13 seconds of play, it's New England 7, Denver nothing. Don't! Look, Dad. I made a modest studio apartment for my Malibu Stacy doll. This is a kitchen. This is where she prints her weekly feminist newsletter. Dad, you're not listening to me! Lousy, stupid Denver. <laughs> oh, look at that. A shoebox house. Lisa, you're so clever. Why isn't Dad ever interested in anything I do? Well, do you ever take an interest in anything he does? No. Well, we used to have burping contests, but I outgrew it. Hmm. Well, if you want to get closer to them, then maybe you should bridge the gap. I do it all the time. I pretend I'm interested in looking at power tools, going to those silly car chase movies, and some things I'll tell you about when you're older. Do you understand? Hey, don't bark! Why? Oh, why did you do that? Wouldn't it be fun if we watched the game together? Uh, okay, just don't say anything and sit down over there. Over. 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 <laughs> Over. Lisa, please, I can't hear the announcer. He said Denver just fumbled. Don't! Do you know, soldier boy? <laughs> Bart? Yeah, Mom. I was thinking that while your father and Lisa watched the game, it might be fun if the two of us went clothes shopping. Mom, I'd love to. But to be honest, I don't need no clothes. Oh, really? So even though I'd love to spend this sunny afternoon trying on clothes, it's not... <laughs> well, folks, when you're right 52% of the time, you're wrong 48% of the time. Why didn't you say that before? <laughs> okay, Jimmy, you're off the hook. We got Miami and Cincinnati coming up. Any thoughts? I certainly do, Brett. I hereby declare Miami to be Smooth Jimmy's lock of the week. Ooh, that's a big lock, all right. I just don't trust that guy. In the Cincinnati-Miami game, I declare Cincinnati to be my shoe-in of the week. Hmm, they both make a good case. After evaluating millions of pieces of data in the blink of an eye, the Gambletron 2000 says the winner is Cincinnati by 200 points. Why, you worthless hunk of junk. You want some of this, don't you? Yeah! Well, you need to know the winner. And I know the winner. So call me now. Whoa! Five dollars for the first minute. Two dollars for each additional minute. You have reached the coach's hot line. line. Yeah, play that me, coach. In the game of my and a mm -hmm. versus sin. Cincinnati. Sin. Cincinnati. Not. Cincinnati. Hey. Come on, come on. Don't you realize this is costing me money? We must consider many things. The wind. You, not the wind. Is blowing out of the west. Oh, Miles per hour. No, oh, oh, you're ridiculous. What am I supposed to do? Lisa, who do you think's going to win? The Bengals or the Dolphins? Well, I don't know. The Dolphins? Good, good. Oh, $50 on the Miami Dolphins. Gotcha. 50 beans on Miami. Uh, Homer, I got to call the other line. Hello. Hello, oh, it's me, Mr. K. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what'll it be? Put me down for $700 on the Rams. <laughs> oh, and uh, put Sight Zoom out for two grand. Mom, I'm tired. I want to go home. Can I just lie down for a minute? No, Bart, I think you'd look very sharp in this shirt. Fine, get it. Let's go. No, no, no. You have to try it on. Ooh, and this one's 50% off. You know why these clothes are on sale, Mom? Because the people who wear them get beaten up. Well, anyone who beats you up for wearing a shirt isn't your friend. Ooh, this looks good. Oh, and this one is very, very cute. And these. Oh, look. Little bow ties. And don't make that face of me. How'd you know? Touchdown, Dolphins! All right, Dolphins! Uh-oh. Uh, you see, Lisa, Daddy's friend Mo promised to give him $50 if the Dolphins won the game. You mean you made a bet? Well, I wouldn't call it a bet. It's a little thing Daddy's do to make football more exciting. What could be more exciting than Daddy's ballet that is called football? Well, you know, you like ice cream, don't you? Uh-huh. Don't you?
you like ice cream better when it's covered with hot fudge and mounds of whipped cream and chopped nuts and all those crumbled up cookie things they mash up? Mmm, crumbled up cookie things. So gambling makes a good thing even better. That's right! My God, it's like there's some kind of bond between us. We've got a troublemaker in booth eight. Oh, forget him. Pull red in booth three. My God, those aren't the socks she came in with. Mm -hmm. Let's move. Bart? In here, Mom. But don't open the... Mom! Oh, Bart, you could use some new underwear, too. <laughs> crazy idea that gambling is wrong, even though they say it's okay in the Bible. Really? Where? Uh, somewhere in the back. The point is, we had a great time today. And to keep it that way, let's not tell your mother about our little wager, okay? Okay, Dad. Can you two have fun? You bet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had fun, too. Right now, Bart is modeling his new clothes for his friends. Uh, can I come out sometime, Simpson? 